my beautiful air signs. I hope you're doing great. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you are Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, these messages will be for you. So air signs, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand not all messages will resonate and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where you can also sign up for two beautiful beginner workshops coming at the end of this month. You can sign up for my pendulum workshop on the 26th and my Psychic 101 for beginners on the 27th. These are wonderful beginner workshops, so don't be afraid to sign up before all the seats are gone. And of course, if you enjoy these sessions, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Okay, air signs. So we have the, uh, sorry, the snow moon or what the Ojibwe would refer to as the bear moon coming up this week. So you might be feeling, you know, out of sorts. You might be feeling like it's hard to be yourself or to stand in your power or to feel like you aren't enough, okay? So a beautiful message overall for each of you at this point, considering this is the bear moon, to put those beautiful bear paws down on the ground, connect to Mother Earth, connect to your inner strength, connect to your inner power because you do have it, okay? Gemini, please. Overall energies for Gemini for this bare moon. Okay, Gemini, kangaroo, and gratitude. Be grateful for all that you are blessed for, okay? Now, with this message coming forward, this can be also a card that's telling you that with, again, with the bare moon feeling insecure, not feeling like you're standing in your power, when you're feeling insecure, one of the best things that you can do is take a quick look around and see, wait a minute, this is in place, this is working for me, this is going well, right? The more that you count your blessings, the more you have gratitude, the more you you're grateful for what's going on, the more you sit in the frequency of gratitude, you know, that attitude of gratitude, and the more the universe sends you things to be grateful for, okay? So it's easy to count the things that are not going well for you, but if you want to use strategy and energetic strategy to help you on your way, start by counting your blessings because when you sit in gratitude, you really do call positive energy towards yourself. All right, Gemini, there's a beautiful story going on here for you and it starts with you. Mountain and strength. So this is a card that's telling me you are on a journey. So again, you might be feeling insecure about things because you are climbing a new mountain and you're not exactly sure how to do it or what it's gonna look like or how long this is gonna take. So have faith in the unknown. And just because it's unknown doesn't mean it's gonna turn out bad. It could turn out amazing, right? So set the tone now with your attitude of gratitude so that as you're moving forward into uncertain times that you can channel and connect to the strength of your ancestors ancestors to the strength of the elements, the earth, the air, the fire, the water, and know and understand that you really have everything you need. This mountain in strength is asking you to connect and to ground. That way you feel strength in this uncertain time and in this journey so you can walk proudly and strongly. Because what's going on? clouds and shape-shifting. You're changing. There's new things happening, whether this is within you or within your environment. So as you evolve, as things develop, as things change, you are going to be asked to change too as a result, whether it's directly or indirectly. So don't be afraid to be fluid throughout these things, okay? When you hold on to the old things or the past or to negativity, it makes you hard. It makes things hard for you to change and to really embrace change. And this is so important because changes are always happening friends but if we stay stuck in the past and don't let go of the old then we don't make space for the new so be fluid like I said be willing to change and be willing to say goodbye to some things that maybe aren't good for you anymore sometimes we don't always see the forest through the trees but you know when you look backwards hindsight you know vision can be 2020 in your hindsight so don't hold on to things that aren't supporting you and if change is naturally showing up go with it instead of fighting it that's how you shape shift right and there will be some opportunities for you to take control of the reins here as well gemini okay invocation ceremony so truly be on point with your gratitude. Make intentions to sit down and write out what you're grateful for. Say it out loud several times a day. Even when you take a look around here, I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for being able to have heat in my house. I'm grateful for having my cute little pets. I'm grateful for having opportunities to buy my own food and control what I eat. There's always things to be grateful for. So spend the time intentionally invoking these energies and setting the tone for 
what you want to see because it truly is the first step to creating the next steps of what's coming down the pipe. And you want to have as much say and control as to what this looks like. So start now and start by being grateful for all that you have because the universe is going to continue to show you things that you're grateful for. These are beautiful messages, Gemini. Change is coming and it's going to be good. Hey, my Libra pals. Let's see what energies are here for you in this bare moon. Libra, please. Lizard and dream time. And what it says here is pay attention to your dreams and your visions, okay? Now, this can definitely be a forward-facing message of literally when you're sleeping, your dreams. What do you remember when you wake up? You might even wanna have a dream journal because when you wake up, that's the biggest opportunity to actually remember and recall events and feelings that showed up in your dreams during sleep time. But this can also talk about premonition you know when you're daydreaming and you're just thinking out loud to yourself about the beautiful things to come down the line? Those are dreams and visions as well. So pay attention to what your intuition is trying to tell you, whether in your awake hours or in your sleeping hours, because there's definitely messages showing up for you as well. Forest and breath. So this card is really important, especially when we're talking about lizard and dream time, okay? Don't jump to conclusions based on the information that you see that makes you feel insecure or you're not sure what it means, right? Even if you have this fantastical dream about stuff that's coming up, you might ask yourself the question, well, how am I supposed to get there? Is this even real? Is this even realistic? Is this even possible, okay? So before you jump to conclusions about anything that you see or feel in your dreams, in your daydreams, take a step back. <sighs> Feel strong and connected to what is right for you, Libra, okay? And as well, this can also be a card about meditation and calming the mind down. Because when you go inside your breath, you are connecting to your soul. You are connecting to life. So what you can also do as a strategy, if you're feeling things in your dreams, your visions, etc., have a meditation and ask your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors to come forward and to help you see what these messages are about. Help give you more information or how do I move forward on this path? There's lots of resources available to you within here and within here, but you have to be the one that asks, Libra. Now, on this journey, you might be feeling alone. And this looks like a scary card, okay? But bear with me here, Libra, okay? Because island in solitude really is about taking time to yourself or feeling like you're not supported on a new path moving forward, okay? Especially with these lizard and dream times, um, you don't always see clearly what the messages are. Sometimes you get bits of information, but you don't know how to piece it all together. That doesn't mean you're in a scary place, okay? So even when you feel like things are dark or you can't see the forest through the trees around you, or you're not sure how you're gonna be able to get there without support or without resources because you don't see it in front of you, this card is telling you that even in the dark, you are being guided by the light, okay? Everything will be given to you in divine timing. So remember to stay strong within yourself. Even though this looks all dark and dreary, isn't this tree in full bloom? Yes, with purple leaves or flowers, connection to the crown chakra, your own innate knowing, okay? Your own psychic abilities, your inner knowing. There is growth happening here. Even though it might be slow, and again, you don't see the path or the one, two, three steps guarantee on how to get to where you wanna be, stay true to you. Know that you are strong. Know that you can get there even without lots of support, even without a firm vision about what's gonna happen in the future. If you stay true to yourself and you follow what feels right for you, you will always be guided in the right way, even when you're by yourself. Fog and veiled. So you are going through some changes right now where you are not going to see the forest through the trees. You are not going to see how things are gonna work out. You might feel lost. You might feel like I'm not in control. Again, you see the pattern here, okay? But please know this is about trust. This is about faith. Because if you look to decode your dreams word for word, vision for vision, picture for picture, it's not gonna make sense, right? But sometimes when you sit back again and see the big picture, right, and take some time to really introspect, then things become more clear, okay? So don't look for the guarantee. Don't look for things to make perfect sense before you take action. These cards are telling you to move on your strengths, to stay strong even if you're by yourself, and to continue walking this path because you truly are being guided by the light. Beautiful messages for you, Libra. Aquarius. My Aquarius pals, you are up. So what is the word for Aquarius? Overall energies, please, for this bare moon. There it is. Damn, right in my hands. 
Okay, Opossum and Strategy, this is a good card for you. Have a backup plan, okay? Now, this isn't telling you that things are gonna be bad, so, oh my God, have a backup plan, okay? But this is telling me that you might be trying something new or going off in a new direction that you're not exactly sure how to start it or how this is gonna look, okay? So keep your options open. Don't necessarily paint yourself into a corner of it has to look like this or it has to be like this because this card could be telling you that the way that you start your journey, it might look this way, but as things evolve, you incorporate other things that you weren't expecting to and so you have to be willing to be flexible and to be able to move with the changes and move with the tides, okay? So a very nice message for you there. So Aquarius, let's look at some more details. So first up, autumn equinox and release. This truly is a very forward-facing message. Let go of things that aren't serve you. You are moving forward and reinventing yourself. And not all people, places, things, attitudes, and skills are gonna be coming with you when you reinvent yourself. Be okay to say no. Be okay to let go. Whether it's of ideals that other people have for you, whether other people are saying it's safe to do this or safe to do that, or you should or you shouldn't, blah, 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 okay? This is about you knowing what feels right for you and going along the path that feels right for you. Not not based on this person, not based on this person. So let go of all those attitudes. Let go of all those have tos, okay? You know what is right for you. So stand by your inner knowing and be okay to say goodbye to some things that aren't supporting you. That can look like a lot of different things, okay? But it is time because you can't grow and there's no space for new things to come in. So let go of the things that are stagnant, the old belief systems, whatever that is, and allow new things to come in because this is exactly what you're doing. Clouds and shit shape-shifting shape-shifting friends again you are evolving you are changing and you are in the middle of these beautiful changes and trying to figure out what this means for you so it's okay it's okay to kind of try this and to try that and all this again having strategy or a backup plan don't commit yourself to just one idea or one tactic because you are evolving and as you take steps forward take a look around again and say now what should I do now what do I know well, how have I learned how have I grown and what can I now let go of again allow yourself to transform in the most beautiful way but one of the keys of transformation is being fluid moving with the times not getting caught up in every little decision but many times using intuition to be able to realign yourself with what feels right for you and another beautiful message for you Aquarius fairies earth magic your ancestors your elements the earth truly mother earth is here to support you in all of the best ways so whatever this means for you whether you are connecting to the earthly holy smokes sorry speaking of animal elements going crazy <laughs> so connect outdoors right whether you're connected to animal energies whether you're connected to the four directions of earth air fire water whether it's the plants whatever this is for you okay connect back to the ideals and to the energy that make you feel grounded, strong, connected. There might even be new things that are showing up for you, okay? And it doesn't have to be you being connected with fairies specifically. But when you connect to the earthly elements and ground yourself, then you are showing the universe what you want to have, how you want to feel, and then these elements rise to the occasion to support you as well. Because everything that you do in your best good is also in the best good of all of us, the collective. So they will align with you to help you move forward, to gain your strength and to help push you in the direction that you need to be even if you don't see what those directions are all the time it's a beautiful message for you Aquarius you've really got it going on and you're coming into your element I love this Air signs, I hope you enjoyed these messages for the bear moon coming up, and I hope it makes you feel strong and secure to stand in your power. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, and again, if you're a beginner or even just wanna try it out, sign up for my pendulum workshop on February 26th and my psychic development for beginners on February 27th. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful workshop and you're all invited. Thank you, friends. Join me next week for your next reading.